My name is Brandon Jordan, known as BT Jordan. I'm the pass rush specialist at Michigan State. Right now, I have 195 active NFL players that I work with. It's the warm up, G. Let's work. Let's work. Same thing. Same thing. Been able to give them some knowledge, and they've been giving me some knowledge to help me become a better coach at what I do. BT, hard work. We crafting. I look for athletic ability. Yes, sir. Length. <laughs> Guys that just have a relentless mindset, a relentless effort. Guys that get off the ball and fly around every play. Go, up, go, up, up. Good right there. The best D linemen, best pass rushers are guys that go from quarter to quarter, every quarter. They have the same motor. They're going relentless to the ball every time. The best of business right now, man. It's that simple. B. Jordan is an expert in what he does. NFL players, they don't want to deal with you if you can't help them be better. Who doesn't want to learn from an expert? You know, he teaches a little bit of everything. So the effort aspect of the game, just, you know, constantly moving, constantly moving your hands, constantly, you know, getting after the passer. We having fun out here, you know, enjoying being around the guys and uh, being around BT. Learning from the best in the game is, is really what you come out here for, man, to soak up the knowledge and just grind with everybody else, you know? Just getting you right, get your footwork right, hands right, and your mentality right. So it's always a pleasure to work with him, man. You see people travel from around the world just to get with him. And you'll see today. You'll see the results. You'll see the effort. You'll see the hard work. Just stay tuned, man. Got a stretch, too. We about to run all day. We're riding the ball. Just like to see we riding the ball all day. Got Five years ago, man, I was in New Orleans. I was the maintenance man at the apartment complex, mowing lawns, picking up trash, cutting trees, just really trying to figure out what I was going to do. I coached at Austin P like six, seven years ago, and then we got let go. Once that happened, I couldn't find a job, so I just tried to find a way to make it happen. Didn't want to go into the corporate business, so I had to find a way to just make football work. So I just volunteered at a high school, helped kids out in the neighborhood. Really, it was like my therapy, to be honest with you, just to let me know that this is what I want to do. And that experience was a downfall, just not having a job, but it made me better for what I am now. Rapping with this head. Triple with that one, all right? This guy's side right here, pick it up. Good big knees, get to the side. Score it, we through, all right? Score it through. Right, let's work on my movement, on my movement. End up getting a couple of college guys from New Orleans that went to Tulane and LSU and just working with those guys. And it helped me become a better D-line coach just to learn my craft a little bit more. I went out to Houston for like a coaches convention and there was a guy named Footwork King there. He was like, man, stop by my field. So I stopped by the field, I did some work there. Started training with more high school kids. And then a guy named Damon Snacks Harrison messaged me on Twitter. It was like, man, I seen what you've been doing with high school kids. If you could make a high school kid what you've done with them, I know you could get me better. And a couple weeks later, a guy named Gerald McCoy reached out to Snacks. It was like, man, I've been seeing what you've been doing with this guy named BT Jordan. I'd love to jump in. It just started gradually building, building, building. They seen the work on Twitter, and then they started doing the word of mouth, and it blew up for me. Got halftime right now, guys. Good work, baby. Hey, good work, guys. Hey, guys, good work today, guys. Y'all working. Y'all earned this break. Y'all working. We earned it today. Y'all working. We're teaching us stuff that uh, we didn't learn the years before here. It feels good to have him here because he's going to bring the NFL experience that he uh, had when he was working with NFL teams. He's going to bring it down to us and help us really mature and stuff. So I feel I'm happy. I'm happy with it for sure. This has always been my dream. That's the reason I actually started training, was to get back into college coaching. This is what I always wanted to do. I get to really work with those guys every single day and craft for them and just make them better. And I'm just excited just for that opportunity just to see those guys grow during the season. Man, he a GOAT. I'm gonna be the best D lineman in the country. I promise you that. BT gonna get us right. All right, look at him. He great. He's great, man. G-O-A-T, GOAT. 
Y'all, we learn new stuff every day. We get better, critique our, our mistakes every day, you know? The, set, the standard is already set, so we just gotta reach it. Coach Tuck's vision is for us to be relentless with everything we do. I wanna be the best pass rush group, best D-line in the country. They've been rolling high intensity, uh, speed off the edge. You got power and speed inside. You know, this guy's been working with him uh, constantly. I see him out here. I know he coaches a lot of great technique. Uh, stinks for me during practice, but I'm gonna be excited to see it on Saturdays. Hey, wall on one, ready one. Hey, wall. Come on, bro. Good work. Craft, craft, craft. It's been seven years since I've been able to work on the grass. Just a blessing just to be able to step in and just work with these guys. Seeing them work, seeing them go hard. I'm trying to go hard, trying to bring some energy. It's a blessing, man. It's a blessing just to be out here. Good day, working one day at a time. Continue chopping, relentless. Relentlessly chopping. Yes, sir.